Hey guys, uh, I know it's been a little while. I've had quite a few things going on, unfortunately, but I figure I'd do a quick little update and kind of let you guys know what's happening. Um, so I know that I think the last video I mentioned that I had a procedure done um, and that I was okay from that. Unfortunately, I got diagnosed with uh, cervical cancer on April 5th. Um, so I am currently starting treatment at the Moffitt Center in Tampa, Florida. I uh, just kind of went, I had my last, first appointment, sorry, not last, my first appointment um, last week. And I had two appointments this week. Uh, we're still running some tests and things before we kind of determine what exact treatment options I'm going to have. Um, so that's been going on. I'm still in a lot of pain, to be honest. Uh, I've been pretty much in constant crippling pain for about eight or nine months now. Um, I don't really sleep much. I don't really have much energy. Um, don't really have much anything. <laughs> Currently, I'm pretty much exhausted all the time. So some things have changed. Um, I've kind of downsized on some of, some of my animals. Uh, I don't have any any more breeding stock of my uh, beta uh, splendens. I do still have the Turok and Blues going and I have some live bears and such that I decided to work with just because they're a little easier without having to separate them. I do still have my axolotls, I say, as I just said that it's hard to separate them, but you know, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish growing these guys out, find them homes, and uh, call it a wrap on that for now. Um, hopefully after I'm all better and cancer free. Um, I can kind of continue expanding the fish room and doing what I kind of want to do. Uh, for now, I've just been kind of taking it slow. Uh, my boyfriend's been having to help me quite a bit. So uh, this room is a literal disaster. So I'm not really going <laughs> to show you guys any of that. I'm just going to kind of walk around the tanks real quick. As you can see, Fester is doing really well, um, looking really pretty. Got a lot of the black showing up on his fins and such. I'm not gonna bend down, but uh, <laughs> there's Watson the albino turtle, the red ear slider. Um, he's actually in with my Exodon Tetras. This was kind of a trial thing to see if they could get along, and they can, or have been at least for a month or so. I keep a very close eye on them, but I probably have the least aggressive Exodon Tetras imaginable. There's still betas in there from, I don't know, they've been in there for since I set the fish room up really and they're still not eaten or anything. So uh, for right now, Watson doesn't mess with them and he the Exodons don't mess with him. So I just kind of leave it be. Um, this is the 55. Uh, it's kind of become a catch-all tank. So my angelfish are in here. Um, I also have one of my mollies right there. Um, that male is just kind of an extra. I prefer the other male to breed with the female. So I kind of moved him out because he was bullying the other one. Uh, he hangs out with one of the angelfish that doesn't have a partner normally, <laughs> so I think he kind of thinks he's an angelfish. Um, I also did something that I will probably, I will never recommend, and I'm not saying I'm smart for doing this at all, but I kind of dumped four or so species of wild betas that I had. Um, kind of, I had singles of these, like I lost the female or I lost the male, etc., etc., and I kind of just threw them in here uh, with the plecos and with everything else. Everything for the most part, is getting along. There's no nipped fins. I'm not really seeing any aggression. Again, this is a 55 gallon tank. There's lots of hides because of the plecos, lots of rock work. There's this giant mound of plants here that they can hide in if they need to. I have not had any problems. Again, I will not recommend this at all. I don't think anyone should try this. It was just kind of a last resort. So tired and just kind of put them in there. There's one. There's a couple in here, and there's several males, and they kind of have their own little territories, but for the most part, they get along pretty well. I'll take it. <laughs> here are the Turokan Blues. Um, here, still doing great, still holding babies and such. There's still babies in here. And um, I also got some assassin snails that are in there somewhere. These are the tequila, or sorry, not the tequila, uh, the turquoise blue guppies that I got from Dan. This is not going to focus, is it? Probably not. Okay. Um, I also started breeding some mystery snails, as some of you already know. Also have some samurai garamis. 
that are really cool. There's one, there's the male up here. Female, oh, oh there she is. Starting to get some color on them. And they're really interesting. Uh, here's some of my mollies. I did water changes earlier, so some of the duckweed and such is kind of floating around, so I'm sorry about that. Just a couple of the selective ones that I have. The orange Dalmatians, very pregnant females. The mystery snails in here. Oh, down he goes. I love when they do, <laughs> do that. These are the baby mollies that I got from these other guys that are just kind of growing out. Some really interesting ones in here. I like that little guy there. They're all pretty cute. Um, these mystery snails have been breeding for me. So I actually have a couple clutches here of eggs. Um, we'll see how that goes. Those two are mating back there. Here are some of the Tarakan blues that I still have just kind of growing out. Um, these guys are actually um, mosquito fish that I collected here locally. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Focus, focus. Um, this is a spotted gambusia. I'm probably saying that wrong. But that's a pair that I found. The female is spotted as well, albeit not nearly as spotted as him. It will just not focus for the life of this camera. Oh my gosh, okay. You get the picture, he's spotted. <laughs> um, so I actually moved all of my goldfish out into a pond and I will probably do a video about that here soon. Um, right here I just have one of the betas that I produced kind of helping to cycle this 20 gallon for no real reason other than to have it. Um, this is not a fish. <laughs> this is actually a Bacortz water snake and they are probably about 90% or so aquatic um, and there's just some random little killifish and mosquito fish and things like that that I collected in here with him. Um, he's really cool, to be honest. Uh, I actually bought a pair. Unfortunately, the first female I got was dead on arrival. Contacted the person. I got a second female sent out who unfortunately passed away the next day. Um, he's alive, but he's yet to eat for us. He was apparently eating, but I'm guessing not really. <laughs> unfortunately, these guys are pretty rare and it's hard to find captive ones, so kind of the gamble you take. Um, he does have a little land area where he can get out if he wants to, um, but for the most part he stays in the water. I'm um, just going to show you guys real quick the, some of the, the first batch of axolotl babies are not so baby anymore. They are actually pretty good size. Um, my hand next to him. I think they're about two or so inches uh, nose to tail tip. Um, they're 30 of them here. Like I said, this is from the first batch. I had to separate them all individually because they started nipping at each other. So I have a few that are um, a few that are a little injured. The great thing about axolotls is they will regrow all of the missing appendages and such. I tried to separate them as soon as I possibly could, as soon as I noticed that they were nipping at each other. Um, but they're all doing really well. Everything's regrowing and everything's going well. So in another probably three weeks or so, uh, these guys will be ready to go home, uh, to new homes. I have GFP leucistics, I have regular leucistics, um, it looks like I have a few dirty leucistics, um, and I have some albinos that will be ready. So if anybody's interested, just uh, let me know or follow my page at Amp Aquatics, and I will post them when they're ready. Um, so I think that's it for today. Uh, so this is just kind of a quick little video to show you that I'm still alive, <laughs> um, albeit going through some stuff. So hopefully I can get all that straightened out at some point. Ah, there he goes. You can see him now. He's spotted. Um, I also have these purple mystery snails who are really pretty and ram's horn snails. So wish me luck in my snail endeavors and I will see you next time.